Hello and welcome to Newsbreak. I'm your host Alex Snyder. Coming up, Washington knocks off Keokuk, but first, today's top stories. The Henry County Board of Supervisors approved a 5,138 tax abatement for 1405 North Broadway Street, which will be used by SEI RPC for SEI bus services, providing parking and support for drivers. Planned improvements include a new roof, siding, windows, doors, utility upgrades, and concrete work, with 80% of the funding coming from DOT grants. The project's total cost has risen to around $900,000 due to supply chain and labor cost challenges. The tax abatement will continue until a reassessment is completed, and the initiative aims to enhance the property while benefiting the county and supporting SEI bus transportation services. Main Street Washington is hosting a unique fundraising event celebrating its 15th year of incorporation with an 80s themed bingo night at Lebowski's. The event aims to provide accessible, fun entertainment for all ages. And with 17 tables and of tickets already sold, it's off to a fantastic start with enthusiastic community support. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bingo starts at 6.30. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll take a look at, the at your weather. At Auto Group, we put our customers' needs first and understand that everyone is as different as the vehicle they select. We offer new Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles in a friendly environment that puts you in the driver's seat. When it comes to service, we maintain factory trained technicians and competitive pricing. The Capper Auto Group still believes that service after the sale provides the best customer experience. Come see the Capper experience for yourself. You know, it's not a question of what all you have and so on with your life. It's who is in your life and how much you care for them and how much they care for you. And Tammy definitely cares. Federation Bank is a locally owned bank providing award-winning customer service. We believe that we are more than just a federation of banks, but a federation of communities serving Brighton, Richland, Wellman, Washington, Iowa. Federation Bank's highly skilled staff is here to make sure you are able to accomplish your personal and professional goals, whatever they may be. Federation Bank, your family bank. I met Tammy about 20 years ago. With, when her daughter was in Special Olympics and I was coaching, told me that she was into doing senior benefits. We became even closer friends. She cares about everybody, especially the seniors. So well, Welcome it. back to Newsbreak. Coming up your five-day forecast, but first, obituaries. Lucille Elizabeth Schwarzendruber of Wayland passed away on September 24th at the age of 94. A celebration of life will be held on November 11th at 10.30 a.m. at Whitestone Mennonite Church. John Felmer of Fairfield passed away on September 20th at the age of 73. Shirley Ann Metziger of Columbus Junction passed away on September 26th at the age of 86. Funeral service will be held at 1 p.m. on September 29th at the Snyder and Hollenbaugh Funeral. Robert L. Perkins of Latvia passed away on September 25th at the age of 89. That was your obituaries. It's now time for your five-day forecast. Starting the forecast, Wednesday brings partly cloudy skies, a high of 76. Thursday continues with partly cloudy conditions, a high of 77. Friday offers mostly sunny skies, a high of 83. Saturday presents mostly sunny conditions, a high of 86. Wrapping up the forecast, Sunday continues with mostly sunny skies, a high of 85 degrees. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we'll take a look at your sports. Since 1905, Kelowna Cooperative Technology Company has helped our community stay connected with the latest advancements in clear, dependable telecommunications services. KCTC provides rural Iowans with access to high-speed fiber internet, as well as phone, television, computer repair, and cybersecurity solutions. We're also proud supporters of local organizations and area schools within the community. KCTC, keeping Kelowna connected. Hospice isn't a place, it's a type of care that focuses on living. Servicing a seven county area, the Hospice of Washington County staff of nurses, social work, hospice aides, spiritual and grief support, volunteers, music and massage therapists are able to provide free end of life care where the patient lives. 
We write wills, give consent for organ donation, but rarely is there a plan for what we would want the final phase of our lives. At Hospice of Washington County, we encourage our patients to be in charge of their health care decisions while maintaining quality of life. Family owned and operated by Andy and Sarah Ross, Ross Auto has been your vehicle repair and maintenance headquarters since 1935. We specialize in all makes of cars and light duty trucks. With our variety of available services, let us help you keep rolling and your vehicle operating efficiently. Services include general auto repair, alignments, brakes, fuel injection, and more. Schedule your appointment today at 319-653-5656. That's 319-653-5656. Welcome back to Newsbreak. I'm your host, Alex Snyder. It is now time for your sports. Fairfield clinched a Southeast Conference regular season title with a 3-1 win over Mount Pleasant. They dominated the opening two sets while Mount Pleasant mounted a comeback in the third and fourth but fell short. Fairfield's season record is now 11-9 with a 4-1 SEC play record, while Mount Pleasant stands at 4-20 overall with a 1-4 conference record. In the Southeast Conference volleyball match, Washington overcame Keokuk in five sets. With this win, Washington moved to a 3-2 conference record, positioning them for either number 2 or number 3 seed in the 2023 SEC tournament. That is your news for Southeast Iowa. I've been your host, Alex Snyder, and this has been your news break, and I will see you next time.